Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, how do you do? Welcome to this edition of Programming Wizards. Now guys, for today we shall look at our uh, uh, list views. We are going to see how to add items to a list view dynamically, how to update these particular items, how to delete them one by one, and how to clear all the list view. Okay, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like you can see right here. Uh, for example, I can clear this one. If I clear, I clear everything from my list view. If I want to start typing, you just uh, type my data there very fast then I can if I click the button uh, they get added uh, over there okay very well so you can add as many data as I want okay then what about when I want to edit uh, when I want to update I just come right here click whatever for instance I can come right here and then I say something like uh, this one and then if I click update you can take note that it gets updated here very well if I want to update also this one I can also uh, come and say something like this one okay and then if I click update it gets updated so I can update uh, now take note that if we click one particular item we are selecting the whole row and then we are setting the selected items uh, to uh, to the uh, the res their respective text boxes. Now, guys, what about if I want to delete? I just come. For instance, if I want to delete this first one, I come. It presents me with a nice dialog. Uh, sure to delete. If I click cancel, nothing happens. Okay. If I come click uh, this one, then I click OK. It deletes it from right there. If I want to delete also this one, I come right here, click OK. It deletes them. Okay. I delete also this one. If I want to delete everything, I just clear. So guys, this is what we're going to see. Uh, join me. We get started. So first and foremost, guys, uh, just design your form. Right here, you can see I've already, uh, I have my form right here. Please create your uh, C Sharp application, a new project C Sharp. And then have there your Windows form. Then I just uh, drag there. First of all, a list view. This is a list view right here. Three text boxes. Uh, four buttons okay add update delete and clear uh, for me mine's uh, mine i've just placed inside the panel so that's it and then this is just my label for the channel name now that's it uh what we're going to do first just double click all these buttons uh, so that it takes us to the code that we're going to handle okay add update clear and delete once we've done that one uh just now uh, let's come to the code okay after clicking the uh, buttons it shall take us to this if particular events when the ad is added uh, is clicked we shall add when the update is clicked we shall update and so forth now very first the first thing that we're going to do uh this is a list view so the first thing we shall want to set the list view properties and those those ones we shall do inside our constructor right here so uh lv properties now the first one is the view property of the list view so come and say a uh, list view one a uh, list view one dot view not validate this view one dot uh, view equal to view dot details view dot details okay then uh the next one we shall want to that when the user clicks one of the items we shall want to select the whole row not just a single cell item so I uh, come and say this view one dot full row select then set it to true this shall ensure that uh, when the user clicks one item we shall be selecting the whole row not just uh, one particular item then after that one we're going to construct our columns for me I'll just have three columns so come and say this uh, view one then I dot columns this one of course shall return for other collection we call this add uh, method then right there uh, you shall have a uh, first then column header that is the name of the column uh, and then also you shall also have the size the width for me i'll have uh, 150 uh, that shall be my width i sh we shall do the same with the two other columns so my first column shall be name uh, sorry what is this one right here now my first column of course shall be name uh, the second one shall be a uh, position the third one shall be team all of them shall be 150 so that's it uh this that shall construct for us our columns we're doing this one inside the constructor 
so the next thing that we're going to do we're going to add items to our list view okay we're going to create a, a method that shall add for us items inside our list view so i uh, just come and say private avoid i'll just call it add then we're going to pass three parameters uh, inside this particular method now these parameters are the, what the user shall be typing uh, of course in the text boxes so first i'll have name second i'll have position and lastly i'll have team uh, this shall be uh, the parameters now the first thing we're going to create a row array uh, to represent one single row in that particular list view so come and uh, say string a string array i mean no uh this is but particular uh array it shall represent one particular row okay so for like for us a uh, one particular row of course shall have the name it shall also have the position it shall have the team so when this method shall always be called when the user passes uh, those particular items we shall be adding them to this array then once we've added them there we're going to create a list view item object now i'll call it item equal to new list view item then right there we're going to pass our row array uh, right there then once we have that one we're just going to add that particular item uh, inside our list view so list view one dot items give us a collection of items then we call this add we pass that particular item this does it that's how we shall be adding our items now what we simply do we simply come like for adding i uh, will just come right here and call the add then we're going to pass those three parameters three items now my first text box is the name txt uh, text property right there then pose txt uh, dot text then lastly team txt uh, dot text so uh, this particular method shall add for us items dynamically now the next thing that we're going to do uh, we're going to set we're going to clear our our text boxes okay by just setting them uh, to blank then we'll do the same uh, with our pose txt we just set it to blank uh, this one shall clear them for us and then lastly uh, our team txt okay now this one shall uh, uh, clear for us uh, those particular text boxes so ladies and gentlemen that uh, method uh, that one shall be responsible for adding for us data to our list view dynamically now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to see how to update uh, to update uh, we're going to create first a method to help us do so private void update okay remember uh, we're not dealing with any database we just want to show you how to use a list view okay so that when we, irrespective of the data source that you're using uh, you can be fine with the list view so uh, that's it uh, to update the what we're going to do uh, just come and say first you're going to get uh, the selected items so this v1 with selected items now this one shall give us uh, an array okay then we pick the first one that means that the first row that the user has selected remember the user can select multiple rows then of course uh, the first item that is the first column that is the name then it's text property now what we're going to do right there uh, what that particular item that has been selected we're going to set what the user shall type uh there okay what the user shall type in the name txt we shall set it right there so that's the how we shall be updating we we'll do the same uh, to the other two columns now this one of course the index shall be one okay it shall be the position and then this one we change to the txt this one shall be team txt but this one of course the index shall be two so that's it so what we're simply uh, doing we're just taking what the user has typed in the name txt we're just uh, setting it uh, to our list view okay as the particular you can see we are like the columns right here zero one two okay so that's it that's how we uh, update our stuff 
Now the next thing, uh, of course, after updating, uh, just to give this a better uh, visual feedback, we shall just be clearing all those text boxes. So guys, that's it. Uh, that shall uh, do for us. That's how we shall be updating our stuff. Now to update, of course, uh, we shall now just come right here and call update. And that shall update for us uh, our stuff. Now the next thing, of course, is to delete. Uh, let's just come right here and create the method to help us delete. Private and void and just call it delete. Then uh, to delete also, what we're going to do, uh, the first thing uh, that we're going to do, in fact, we shall want to prompt the user. Okay, we shall just want to prompt the user just to get his, just uh, so that he can confirm that he actually wants to delete it. So just come and say if message box uh, dot show. Then of course the first item uh, we're going to pass is the message that you shall want to display to the user. Actually, we want to display a uh, a confirmation prompt or a dialogue, if you like. So that's it. Uh, then uh, the next thing that we're going to pass there is the uh, that is the caption. Okay. Then after that one. Uh, we're going to have the message box buttons like for me i'll have ok cancel so that he can click ok or cancel then after that one i uh, shall have the icon so for me i'll use the warning icon so this one i shall warn the user that is just about to delete then i just come and say if uh, dialog result dot ok so that shall mean that if the user has clicked ok then uh, he surely wants to delete it. So to delete, we're just going to call the remove method resv one uh, resv one items. Okay. Then dot remove it. Now remove it shall expect us to pass the index uh, that we want to remove, but we want to get that particular index dynamically. So what we're going to do first, we're going to get uh, all the selected uh, rows. Okay. Now select resv one dot selected not just rows but indices indices of uh, for those particular rows that have been selected this one shall give us a collection remember we said the user can select more than one row so we pick the first row of course which will have been set to the uh, name to our respective text boxes then uh, okay okay yeah this one shall give us the collection of the indices then we just pick the first one and that's it there's nothing else right there so uh, this one shall uh, return an integer that we're going to pass so the user will be able to remove uh, the particular item and once more once he's removed it to give him a better uh, visual feedback we shall just want to clear uh, that thing of course you can uh, do now anything or you can write an if else statement or something uh, like that if you like so that's it uh, now we shall just come right here and call our delete method this one shall delete for us from our list view dynamically so once we've done that one what about clearing clearing is also simple uh, first we're going to call uh, list view one dot items we shall get our items collection then just call it clear method this shall clear for us our list view then of course we clear all those particular text boxes but remember guys for deleting uh, for updating in fact for updating i uh, shall want to set the selected items to these respective text boxes so to do that one just come right here uh, right click your list view go to properties uh, then go to the event section of your list view one properties then i uh, just come to the mouse click okay so we shall handle the mouse click event now when the user clicks the mouse uh, of course we shall be selecting the full row just as we had specified uh, in our constructor so what we're going to do right here uh, in fact let's just come and copy paste uh, this right code right here what we shall be doing we shall just take the selected item and set it to a name txt to uh, all the text boxes so come and say name txt dot text and then we have there what the user has selected okay so that one shall set uh, the selected item uh, to the text now we do the same uh, thing to the other 
now for of course this one shall be a pause txt and then the only thing we come and change we just come and change the index of the column like so this one i uh, shall be index 2 and then of course it shall be a name team txt guys that's it that's it uh, that's this is how we shall be uh, adding updating and editing now let's just run our project and have a look so as you can see here is our beautiful program now what about if i want to add i come right here i type a stuff right there i add i click add button did we implement okay we didn't implement the button let's just come and call it no it's just fine so what we're going to do uh, let's just come right here add our stuff uh, there very fast uh, then when we click uh, you can see our items uh, get added uh, very well okay dynamically so we can add as many items as we want and that's it now what about if you want to update we can just come for instance right here and type something uh, meaningful like this one okay then if we click update i take note that it gets updated if i want to update this one I can also come and say uh, something like this one and then I say something like this one and then if I click update it gets updated here very well now take note that if you select a single item we can set the selected items to their respective text boxes if I come delete if I click cancel nothing happens okay what about if I come uh, select one uh, click here then click OK, it deletes it and refreshes uh, the list view. Okay, now if I come click clear, actually, okay, it's everything gets cleared. The problem is that my machine is taking time to refresh because I'm recording. But that's it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please, if you have, hit the subscribe button. We shall continue receiving tutorial like this ones on a regular basis. You can check our other list view data grid and data grid view tutorials. Okay. Uh, we also do android java okay so you can check them out please if you love this tutorial just hit the subscribe button like this video share it with friends and family and just take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial